Hey budget gardeners, Vita Loca here. Join me today as I show you how to divide the echinacea plant. So let's go. Echinacea, also known as coneflower, is hardy here where I live in New Hampshire zone 5B. Even though purpurea or purple coneflower is the most common of the coneflowers out there, there are a lot of other coneflowers out in the market now. Lots of different colors as well as lots of different heights. Echinacea likes to be divided every three to five years in order for the plant to be vigorous and be healthy. And by dividing the plant, you're ensuring that you're getting a duplicate copy of that parent plant. The best times of year to divide echinacea are either in the spring or fall months. It is now the end of August. Our temperatures are cooling down here, so it's a great time for me to be dividing this plant. The key is just make sure after you've divided your plant, you give it plenty of water and optimally, if you can do it on a day that's rainy or it's going to be cloudy for a few days, that would be the best, just to make sure that your plant doesn't undergo too much stress. In terms of tools, you can use a variety of things. You can use a large shovel, and you can use that just by slicing through your plant and getting divisions that way. You could also use something like a hand pruning saw, in which case you want to dig up an entire clump and then cut through the plant so that you get divisions that way. And then another way that you can get divisions is by digging up a clump of echinacea plants and then just pulling them apart. What you're looking for though is to make sure that each division has roots with it as well as top growth. You can see that the coneflower is still blooming. I have coneflower in so many areas of my yard. So what I'm gonna do with the plant that we're gonna dig up and divide is I'm actually gonna cut it back. I have plenty of other plants that are gonna to go to seed and feed the birds, so I'm okay with cutting these ones back. The reason you wanna cut them back before you divide them is so that the plant puts its energies into creating stronger roots. And you can see that these coneflowers have flopped over, so it really is better for them for me to just go ahead and cut them back. So I'm gonna follow each stem down to the base, and I'm just gonna cut them at the base of the stem. We have a nice grouping of plants right here, and there are some more over in the back area here. So now we can go ahead and dig our coneflower. When it comes to digging most perennials, you never wanna dig right at the base of the plant. You don't wanna ruin the roots. You wanna dig at least one to two inches away from the base of the plant. Just by doing that, we automatically created a division. There's one right over here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that. And then we have another division right here. Since I have some coneflower right over here towards this side of my flower bed, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna dig up some more sections over here. So this is not a huge clump. This is just a small clump that I'm showing you here. But if you follow it down to the base, I wanna show you something. Notice that we have basically the mother plant here. And off of the mother plant, we have small little baby plants. As long as each division has some roots and some top growth, you'll be fine. So I'm just gonna use hand pruners to separate the small plant from the large plant. And I'm gonna get in right there between the two bases of the plants and I'm going to cut. And we just turned one plant into two plants. So with this division here, this can get potted up or placed out in the landscape somewhere else in my yard. So here's another example. And now I'm going to show you how I just go about pulling them apart or tugging them apart. So I can see right here, this piece can get separated from the rest of it. So I'm carefully just going to tug I don't want to be too rough with the plant. And just by pulling those apart, we were able to turn that one large plant into two smaller plants. The division is now ready to be planted either in your landscape or in a pot. I'm going to be putting it in a pot 
because I have a backyard plant nursery and I'm going to be overwintering this and selling this next year. The key is you want to make sure that the roots are below soil level and this whole top part here should be above soil level. And when you plant it, either in the landscape or in a pot, just make sure you're pushing down so that the soil is in good contact with the roots. And I want to show you at the base of the plant, there's some new growth, and that's good. You want that new growth to be above soil level. I'll be sure to give this plant a good drink of water, and then this is going to get placed somewhere in a shady area to recover from the stress. Propagating plants is so much fun. It's a great way to increase your stock in plants. When it comes to echinacea, there are so many different ways you can propagate those. My number one way to do it actually is just to look for little seedlings because when the plant drops its seeds, you're gonna end up with a ton of little seedlings all around your yard come springtime. But when you have a big, large plant, it is important to divide that apart because you want that plant to still be vigorous. Now, if I had a big, huge clump that I needed to divide, I would definitely probably use something like a large shovel or a hand pruning saw. But in my yard, most of the echinacea that I have are on the smaller side, so it's very easy for me to pull them apart or just cut them the way I showed you. I hope this video was helpful. I encourage you to start dividing your perennials. It's a great time of year to do it, either in the spring or in the fall. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them down in the comment section below. And until the next video, make it a great day with gardening.